Hey guys, welcome back. So I just wanted to let everyone know that GeForce Now is now open to everyone. They opened up their membership and it's free to play. So I'm gonna step you guys through. I'm gonna play some Fortnite on my 2019 MacBook Pro using my PS4 controller here. And you guys see right here, I'm gonna connect it to the computer using the uh, USB with, uh, it's a USB to USB-C adapter. So pretty much all you guys have to do is just go to nvidia.com over here and then just go to join now or join today on the GeForce Now and create your account is all free and I'll talk about the free membership versus the paid membership how much it costs but right now I'm going to start up GeForce Now and I'll play some Fortnite and I'll show you guys my settings and everything that you need to know. Alright so I'm going to start up my GeForce Now clicking on that. Alright so I launched the GeForce Now program here so I'm inside. And I'm already signed into my account. So I'm gonna launch uh, Fortnite here and we're gonna go in and play it. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about GeForce now. If you guys go to join today, you're gonna see these pricing plans. There's a free account that has standard access and a one hour session length, it says. So the free account only allows you to play one hour sessions. Now, if you're gonna sign up for the membership, it's gonna cost $4.99 per month and you get unlimited sessions. But here's the thing, for the membership, it only allows you to play for six hours and then it restarts the session again. So you, it's not like you can be logged in for 24 hours and keep playing. It, lets, it allows you to only play for six hours per session and then it'll bump you up to the queue again where you can uh, log back in and play again. So that's the difference with the free and the paid. The free membership only allows you uh, one hour sessions meaning after the session ends it's going to log you out and then you're going to have to relaunch fortnite again and do another hour session so so yeah once this fortnite starts up i'm going to show you guys my controller settings this is my ps4 controller i have it plugged in through usb on my 2019 macbook pro i'll leave all of my info down in the description down below where you guys can check it out and look you can use the mouse pad you can use keyboard but i like playing on a controller i play on my ps4 i'm gonna go into battle mode here Okay, so I'm logged into my secondary account here and I'm going to go to settings here and I'm going to show you guys my controller. So first thing you want to do is go all the way over here to the controller and you can pick which controller you have, whether the Xbox One or PS4. And you know, all of the buttons work on this, even the thumb pad buttons. And you guys will notice that if you watch my Fortnite gameplay on my mobile uh, phone using the PS4 controller, the thumbstick buttons, like they don't work. Like when you press them down, they don't work. It's the L3 and R3 buttons. But for this one, it, it will work. And then uh, here are my settings for my controller um, on Fortnite here. I go with fast plus plus for both uh, look and aim. And then I bump up my build mode to 1.5x. And then the last thing I do is I set my controller dead zone. I put it at about 10%. I noticed that that works pretty good for me. So yeah, let's go into, um, see look, the buns work on this. Everything works on it. And I'm just gonna do a team rumble right now. So yeah, this is the perfect time right now um, to sign up for GeForce Now. If you wanna play Fortnite on any of your old computers that can support, like if it can play YouTube, then you can play this on it. The mic will also work on this. It's gonna pick up the mic on the MacBook here. All right, we're gonna jump into some gameplay here. This is season two. And I'll show you guys how it plays over Wi-Fi right now. And like I said, it's gonna play a little bit faster if you connect your ethernet cable to it. But I don't have a dongle for my ethernet. So I'm just playing over Wi-Fi right now. And my internet right now is 100 megabits per second. I really suggest getting 100 or, or more. Um, most internet lines that um, the average person gets is just 30 megabits, you know, like 30 or 50. And you want a lot on it. Um, you want it higher. So I have 100 megabits per second and it plays pretty well. I'll get some lag here and there. It's not completely perfect, but it's good enough for a free account. Come on, give me a shoddy. I need a shoddy. Here we go. I needed that. Ooh, cool. Look at this guy. Let's break his balls. Boom. Breaking your balls. <laughs> 
Oh, look at that lag I'm getting. See? So you're going to get that once in a while. Oh. Christmas time is here. Watch this. Where's he at? Yet. <laughs> Get a shooting pretty low. I'm so low. There we go. Oh, I see this guy. Where's he at? Where's he at? Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Out of my way, girl. No, I had him. Follow this dude right here. What's he doing? Out of here. Out of here. Okay guys, so that was gameplay on GeForce Now with a PS4 controller. So yeah, there you guys go. GeForce Now is now free for everyone. They have a membership that costs $4.99, but you can play for free. Just sign up for the account, you'll get right in. And remember, you only get an hour session of gameplay and I think it's gonna log me back out. And then I can just log right back in again. It just bumps you out after an hour gameplay and then you can keep on uh, going right back into it. If you do the paid membership, it lets you play for up to six hours, but you have unlimited sessions, it'll bump you out and it puts you right back into the queue again. And that's what the membership one does. You know, there's obviously Google Stadia too, but I haven't heard too much about Google Stadia, except that a lot of people are saying that it's pretty slow and it's buggy. And GeForce Now is very clean to me. Um, I've been playing this since beta and they've been really good. So it's awesome if you have an old computer, you just play uh, Fortnite. They have multiple other game titles too, so you can go check that out. So here, check it out. There's other titles here that you can play. League of Legends, Rocket League, Warframe. There's all these, um, the most updated games, you know. And um, of course, you can't play some of these games for free. You need an account with it. You, you had to have bought it and had a serial number. You just sign into your account and you play it. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. So if a lot of you guys have been trying to get a pass for GeForce Now, well, it's all free now, it's all public.
just go to the website gforcenow.com sign up for a free account and start playing enjoy guys thumbs up and i'll see you guys later bye <laughs>